Once upon a time, there was a village where four friends lived together. One of the friends was deaf out of those four friends. That is why the other three friends used to make fun of him every day. That deaf friend really felt ashamed of himself and he used to scold God for the unkindness towards him. He used to remain sad whole day. One day, the four friends were traveling through the woods in search of dry woods. But suddenly, two of them fell into a deep pit. When the other two friends and some other people crowded around the pit, the pit was very deep. They told the two friends that there was no hope left for them, so they should give up now. However, the two friends decided to ignore what the others were saying. They started swimming and tried their level best to come out of the ditch. They tried hard but could not come out of it. People were shouting loudly, waving their hands, shaking their heads, and were still saying that they should just give up and can't come out of it. Eventually, one of the friends took heed to what others were saying, and he gave up, falling down to his death. But the deep friend continued to swim, and he kept on swimming until someone came up with a rope. The crowd of people yelled at him, to stop the pain and just die, but he still didn't stop swimming. At the meantime, a kind man arranged a piece of rope and threw at him into the pit. Finally, he managed to come out of the pit with the help of the rope and saved his life. When he came out of the pit, the other people said, Did you not hear us? Then the deaf man replied to them that he was a deaf, so he thought, they were encouraging him the entire time so that he could manage to come out of the pit. When he returned home, he realized that only because of his deafness he could save his life. He begged at the feet of the God and started apologizing. He said, O my Almighty, you have made me deaf, so I used to scold you every day out of anger, but I could not understand your plan. Only because of my deafness, I got a new life. Oh my God, my mercifully, please forgive me for my stupidity. You are always right and I am always wrong. Moral of the story, in our life we face a lot of problems and when we can't manage to come out of trouble then we only blame God, but we never try to see the plan of God behind the incident. He always saves us from all the danger, but we never thank Him. So never blame God. He has always a plan for us. So always thankful for the God's kindness.